In the early 14th century the port of Columphota, now called Colombo, was the first port of call, for merchants from China, India, and Persia, who traveled via the maritime silk route. They were drawn to the island, by the tantalizing trade prospects, of Sri Lanka's exotic spices. With the landing of Lorenco de Almeida, in Gaul in 1505, and the subsequent colonization of the country, the Western world too, realized the country had immense potential, as a trading hub. Sri Lanka has a unique strategic, geographic location. It's also a unique island, blessed with no less than seven ports. Today, the port of Colombo functions as a major global logistics hub. Located at the nucleus of the East and West Sea routes, and serving as the entry point to South Asia, the Colombo port has risen in the Drury Port Connectivity Index, thereby establishing itself as the number one port in the region for connectivity. The port of Colombo is the main transshipment port for the Indian subcontinent, with all major shipping lines operating out of Colombo. It also can accommodate the largest container vessels afloat. The Sri Lanka Ports Authority is the governing and regulatory body, and has transformed the ports and maritime sector, making them key drivers of the country's economy. Building new ports and port terminals, acquiring new facilities, and providing state-of-the-art services, the SLPA has proven its resilience as a transshipment terminal, even when the sector faced tumultuous times from a global standpoint. The achievements of the Port of Colombo are the results of the unified efforts of its four high-performing terminals. These operational terminals are the Jaya Container Terminal, South Asia Gateway Terminal, Colombo International Container Terminal, and the Colombo East Container Terminal. The Jaya Container Terminal and East Container Terminal are the port's fully state-owned terminals and has been performing to the highest standards. The Jaria Container Terminal has been in operation for over 36 years. Since it opened in 1985, the Jaya Container Terminal has grown both in capacity and strength. Popularly known as JCT, the terminal is made up of four container berths and two feeder berths. It also has a total container terminal area of 45.5 hectares and a container freight station area of 15,000 square meters. The terminal features an impressive dry container stacking capacity of 60,000 TEUs and a reefer container stacking capacity of close on 1,600 TEUs. The JCT is set to expand and upgrade with numerous value additions. The Colombo East Container Terminal was originally used for the discharge of bulk cargo and docking of cruise vessels. Today, it is in operation as a container terminal, which is an initial development phase. The Colombo East Container Terminal has a current capacity of a single berth and has three gantry cranes to service container cargo ships. The South Asia Gateway Terminal is the first public-private partnership stevedoring company in Sri Lanka with a majority local shareholding. Backed by multiple international investors who are among the world's best in the container port terminals and the shipping industry, SAGT is committed towards realizing Sri Lanka's maritime hub aspirations. With a vision to becoming the most trusted gateway terminal in the Indian Ocean, 
SAGT has brought performance excellence and best practices to the industry. Throughout its 22 years of operations, SAGT has been continuously exceeding the expectations of the international container shipping community. They have been accoladed through multiple globally recognized best practice awards. Colombo International Container Terminal, better known as CICT, is the first and only deep water terminal in South Asia, capable of handling the largest vessels afloat. CICT is owned and managed by CM Port, one of the largest global terminal operators. Today CICT operates the port of Colombo's largest container terminal, with a 3.2 million TEUs throughput, and access to a global network of seaports. CICT has played a significant role in transforming the port of Colombo into a major transshipment hub by introducing ultra-large container vessels to South Asia. Carrying out its operations in a sustainable manner, one of the key projects completed recently was the conversion of all CICT's RTGs to electric. This resulted in an overall 40% reduction in carbon emissions at CICT. CICT's constant innovation and commitment to service excellence has been a game changer, and all systems are geared to enhance operational performance and service delivery. Today, the Port of Colombo is at the heart of an extensive expansion plan. Firstly, this includes the Sri Lankan Ports Authority, equipping and developing the East Container Terminal, which will stand as the second deep draft container terminal in the Colombo South Harbour. The plan is to extend the current quayside length to 1,300 metres allowing three berths with the capability of handling very large container vessels. In addition to the improvement of the ECT terminal, in 2022 construction of the first phase of a 700 million US dollar project, the West Container Terminal is scheduled to commence. This is a joint venture between India's Ardani Group and John Keel's Holdings, with a minority shareholding owned by the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. The build, own, transfer agreement between the stakeholders will see this new proposed deep water terminal having the facilities of a 1,400 meter long quay with an alongside depth of 20 meters. It's expected that this terminal would add an additional 3.2 million TEUs to the port throughput. The Port of Colombo is the hub port of South Asia and is ranked among the top 30 ports in the world. The JCT, SAGT, CICT, and ECT terminals together consolidate the port status as a mega transshipment hub. Catering to all major shipping lines, its synergy will elevate the port of Colombo to an even more formidable position as the preeminent maritime gateway of South Asia.